Okay, let's tie a real simple one. <clears throat> this fly is called a poison tongue, um, and this is the deep blue version. Um, I first came up with this fly to fish with a jujube midge, and I wanted a tungsten beaded fly, something that was heavy. And uh, along the process, I came up with this blue version that I uh, played with over the years. And, and uh, really, this version is mostly gray, but it's got a blue wire rib. Um, so I'm going to start this fly on a TMCO 2488. Um, of course, you can tie it on a 2488H if all you catch is big fish uh, or you fish heavy tippet. Uh, 88H is the heavy wire version of the same hook, and that's uh, perfectly acceptable. And I've got a 2 millimeter silver tungsten bead on that hook. The thread I'm going to use is 8 dot uni in gray. And I'll just start this thread behind the bead here. Clip my tag end out. And I'm going to take some small blue ultra wire. Originally it was uh, Lagerton uh, fine sized blue wire, peacock blue, but uh, that's been hard to come by these days. I do hear that's coming back and um, just to make you feel bad, I happen to have a bunch of it because I stashed it. And uh, so I'm going to use this Lagerton, but you're going to have to use UTC. Honestly, the UTC wire, um, at the time I came up with this fly, the UTC blue color was not the same color blue. Um, it is now. So honestly, there's not really a huge difference. This is just what's in my kit bag. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Lagerton. And I'm going to tie this piece of wire in. I'm going to tuck it in behind the bead, uh, into the back of the bead on my near side of the hook. And I'll catch it with a couple turns of thread there. And then I'm going to wrap back over it. And I just want to keep it along the side of the hook and get a nice, smooth, even layer of thread about halfway down the bend. And then I'll come forward again. That same smooth, even layer right up to the back of the bead. So that's gray thread. Um, I know it seems like it's whitish there, but um, that is indeed gray. Now I'm going to take my, my wire here and I'm just going to evenly spiral it. about seven turns up to the back of the bead, tie it off with a couple of turns, and then with this fine wire, I can just pull down tight and break it off. All right, so now the head on this um, originally was gray UV ice dubbing, which guess what? Yep, I've got some of that too. Um, they don't make this anymore. Um, the closest color you can get to this dubbing these days is what they call lavender. I'll kind of give you an idea. Um, and I picked this gray because it was relatively bluish. The blue color is a short wavelength and it shows up well in the water, especially under low light. Um, on overcast days I've had uh, just incredible luck with this fly. Uh, fish seem to, I don't know that they see it as blue, but they certainly see it from further away. So I'm going to take a little pinch of this dubbing. And you can see ice dubbing is a fairly long filament. Um, what I want to do just take it and I'll tear some off. And you can see when I tore that, how those fibers got finer and shorter. Um, and that little pinch there that I've got in my fingers is plenty. So I'll put a little dubbing wax on my fingers. And I'm gonna twist this down on the thread. And I wanna twist it down good and tight. Um, and fairly close to the thread. Or I'm sorry, fairly close to the hook. Um, I don't want a lot of bare thread here. And I'm going to build a ball right up against the back of the bead, like so. And then when I whip finish, I'm going to let my whip finish slide off the back of the bead. And when I cinch it down, it'll tuck in. And I can trim that thread out. And that is a finished deep blue poison tongue. Um, very simple little fly. Don't get uh, carried away with it. Don't add a bunch to it. Um, just that little amount of blue ribbing. Uh, and this, this fly, uh, especially in the winter and uh, spring, uh, for a, a lead fly with a GGB midge behind it, this is just a killer. Um, great little fly. Give it a try. Super easy. You can tie them. Everybody can tie them. Even if you don't tie, you can tie this one. So whip a few up. Let me know what you think.